G'day interwebs, I'm B-Man, this is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, it's part 21 of the playthrough. Um, so remember to subscribe and there's a playlist on the channel if you want to catch up with the previous videos. So we are in... Saffron City. We are in Saffron City, and we want to go back to Lavender Town because we have the Silver Scope, and that should let us uncover the ghost that lives in Pokémon Tower, or the ghosts. So Saffron City is currently um, there are Team Rocket members everywhere, and they're blocking my progress into Silph Co. and the Pokémon Gym. Oh, you're that kid. Thanks again for before. You're a different guard, but okay. Okay, I fought everyone on Route 8 already, so I just need to... This tree can be chopped down. Maximus used chopped down. So if you watch my last video, I spent an hour and a half resetting for an adamant natured um, Hitmonchan. If you watched all of my last video, which is highly doubtful. See, I don't really need to level up, so there's no point catching Pokemon that... Aren't shiny. I guess I could use a bunch of abras. Not with my precious ultra balls though. pay attention how much experience I got. I'm just thinking I could probably use a fairy type in my party the counter dragon types later in the game. Alternatively I can have my new use beat up. I'm not beat up, what's it called? It might be beat up. It's a physical fairy type move. Play rough is what I'm thinking. So I didn't play Pokemon Yellow that much, so I'm not sure what... Oh, do I have a Kadabra? Does it show you whether you've caught a particular Pokemon? I 
I'd rather throw an Ultra Ball or use a Raspberry. I'd rather throw an Ultra Ball. Three, two, one. Or rather, could a Kadabra. Homer leveled up to level 38. Kadabra's data will be added to the Pokedex. Many odd things happen if this Pokemon is close by. For example, it makes clocks run backwards. Okay, so that was worth it. I filled out another Pokedex entry. If I trade some random Kadabra for another Kadabra, then that's another Pokedex entry filled. Because Ab uh, Alakazam evolves through trading. Kadabra evolves into Alakazam through trading. Yeah, this video is going to be called uh, Return to Pokemon Tower or something like that, so. I should probably return to the Pokemon Tower. Stop running, Growlithe. After I catch this Growlithe. the price of Ultra Balls, so I don't know how many Great Balls equal one Ultra Ball. spawn under my feet. Call the Growlithe. Shreds leveled up. Just level 38. Was extra small? Stop spawning in front of me. Maximus use chop down. Alright, so here I am back in Lavender Town. You rescued that Cubone from Team Rocket? Wow, that's pretty amazing. Take these as a thank you. Ooh, 20 great balls. I bet someone brave like you could go up the Pokemon Tower, no problem. I'm just going to go into a Pokemart and figure out the price of Great Balls and Ultra Balls so that I can um, figure out which one to use in a given situation. 
Right, so basically two great balls is more than an ultra ball. So I might as well be buying ultra balls. Okay, so I heard a rumor that Team Rocket killed this Cubone's mother and then they ki kidnapped the Cubone. And I went to sell it on City and I rescued the Cubone. But now I am. Uh... Oh, at one point also I went up the Pokemon Tower here in Lavender Town and uh, there was a ghost up there, it wouldn't let me proceed any further. But now I have an item called the Sylph Scope that lets me s reveal the unseen so I should be able to identify the ghosts now ghosts and hopefully I can catch myself a ghastly Chase says so that's Cubone's mom the girl says that's right Team Rocket keeps on going after Marowak so it can sell those skulls they wear for profit. I think Cubone is still looking for its mother, even though she's gone. I just can't forgive that, Team Rocket. Chase says, me neither. I saw Cubone heading into the tower a little while ago, too. I'll go look for it, and I'll keep an eye out for that Mr. Fuji, too, the one who's been missing. Girl says thank you and be careful. Chase says I r really don't like ghosts, but I've got to do this. Ah, B, nice timing. You caught most of that, right? What do you say? You want to come with me? Sure. Th thanks, pal. It'll be a big relief to have you. I'll just l let you lead the way, okay? Now, I've already fought all the trainers up until the large ghost that stops you from proceeding any further. Pokemon Tower, become the spirits of Pokemon. So I've already talked to everyone in this foyer area. And up here there are ghosts that follow you around. There should be. Maybe they're on the next floor. Perhaps this is floor two. Floor three. Yeah, here are the ghosts. Chase says, Urk, do do you think there are really ghosts really are ghosts in here? Huh? B, what's that? I've got my sylph scope. The sylph scope revealed the ghost's true form. Whoa, whoa says Chase. That's crazy. So those ghosts were actually Pokemon. And they despawned. <coughs> Pardon me. Might as well try and catch a large Zubat. about they all want me some um, ghastlies and haunters
There's a ghastly. Oh, you encountered a wild ghastly. Quite a ghastly. Ghastly is the day that will be added to the Pokedex. The gas Pokemon. Said to appear in decrepit, deserted buildings. It has no real shape as it appears to be made of a gas. Before I used the silph scope on them, they were appearing and um, hunting me down. Really, after throwing one great ball, I should just use an Ultra Ball. The price difference isn't that. Big. Tsunami grew the level 38. Hoping for a, a modest or a timid, ghastly. I mean, I'd like one, but I'm not going to search relentlessly for one because I don't... Yeah, what about a neutral-natured one? Can they use physical attacks? Yeah, if I was going to take a Pokemon into my party at the moment, I'd want a Fairy-type. I was just thinking of checking out my Clefairies, but, um, not now. A, um, Shreds is a normal type with dark, a dark type special move, so he should be good to use on ghost types. They won't be able to hit him with their ghost moves, but he'll be able to hit them. See, where are all the ghosts now? This place was crawling with ghosts. Had to be on the constant m move to keep away from the ghosts. 
I want a haunter at least. They showed me a haunter. The game showed me a haunter. So this is floor... Four? Gold bat. Tiny ghastly. I'm gonna call another ghastly. Small ghastly. Stats. Hmm. It doesn't change the fact that I want a haunter. Too big. Um, last choice. Another small ghastly. I don't know which catch co catch combo does. I should look that up on the internet. Three, two, one. Oh, I 
I can't be bothered with you, Ghastly. See what spawns over here. Well, I haven't fought any training battles, so I can't be injured. That big, like, circle in the center of the room <coughs> heals your Pokemon. Yeah, okay. Nothing spawning. Top floor. Or it's the, I think it's the floor where the ghost Pokemon appeared to me anyway. There's a ghastly. The ghost says, be gone. Be gone, intruders. Chase says, Gah, this one's even bigger than the last one. B, use the thing, the thing you used last time. The true form of the ghost was the restless spirit of Cubone's mother. The mother's spirit was calmed, returning to its kind and gentle nature. It departed to the afterlife and disappeared. Chase says, Cubone, you... You just came here because you wanted to see your mum again, huh? Sorry for thinking your mum was scary, Cubone. B, I, I don't want to leave Cubone alone like this. I'm going to go take it home. Oh, if there's someone named Fuji upstairs, do you think you could see him home too? I've got this. Are you not scared at all, B? says Chase. Man, you're full of confidence, pal. You definitely seem dependable. What? You rescued Cubone from Team Rocket. When did you go and get that strong? Right, well then, guess I'll leave this up to you, B. Come on, Cubone. Okay, so that was pretty sad. Having a cutscene for Cubone's mother instead of just a battle. Gives a bit of pathos to what happened. In the original game, I think you just fought Cubone's mother and then she disappeared. You put her the rest. I should be throwing bulbs because in case this guy runs away. Or are they called a haunter? 
Maybe they only spawn on the higher floors. Orlando leveled up to level 39. Haunter's Day that will be added to the Pokedex. The gas Pokemon. By licking, it saps the victim's life. It causes shaking that won't stop until the victim's demise. I don't want you ghastly. Another Haunter. Actually, I might as well check out that Haunter. Naive speed over special defense. Bold defense over attack. You found a PP up. Encountered a wild haunter. All right, you call the haunter. Careful. Let's just look at there it is, chickly puff. Sassy. Special defense over speed. Good stats. Yeah, um... I'm gonna go up to the top floor. Actually, I'm gonna look for hidden items first. I found a rare candy. Top of Pokemon Tower. Jesse says, Stop right there, we'll be going first. James says, With that Spectre out of the way, we can finally get to the top. Jesse says, you're the old geezer they call Mr. F Fuji, right? You're going to be repeating your Pokemon research for the glory of Team Rocket. James says, ignore us all you like, we're used to it. We won't take no for an answer. You'll help the boss whether you want to or not. Come on. 
Okay, so Jesse and James are actually doing something other than trying to steal Ash's Pikachu. Jesse says, Gramps here thinks he can resist, so we're setting him straight. James says, you better disappear, twerp, or you'll be prepared to fight. You are challenged by Team Rocket, Jesse and James. To protect the world from devastation, to unite all peoples within our nation. Tsunami used scald on coughing. Shreds use fake out on coughing. Wheezing, sorry. The opposing wheezing was burned. Arbaki's glare. Tsunami is paralyzed and may be unable to move. Wheezing flinched and couldn't move. Wheezing's smoke effect looks pretty cool. Wheezing was hurt by its burn. Shreds use dig. Shreds burrowed its way under the ground. Arbok use glare. Shreds avoided the attack. Wheezing use sludge bombs. Shreds avoided the attack. Tsunami use scald. Wheezing fainted. I think that's what happened. I fell behind a bit in my commentary there. Maximus grew to level 40. So the game's been out for a week and a half, and I'm level 40. I'm aware there are probably people who are level 100 by now. Scold. Tsunami, scold that Arbok. Shreds use dig. Super effective. Arbok use poison jab. Tsunami use scold. Arbok fainted. Tsunami got 533 experience points. Shreds got 533. Inferno screwed the level 39. What do you want? You regret this. 3,264 poker dollars for winning. Jesse says, ah, oh, seriously, again? James says, looks like Operation Stealthily Kidnapped Fuji is a bust then. Jesse says, don't you think I know that? It'll be fine. We just have to help out with the takeover of Silphco in Saffron City. Jesse and James both say, looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. talk to Mr. Fuji. I'm just going to look for hidden items quickly. Nope. Oh, and who might you be? You came to save me from Team Rocket? Thanks, but I didn't even notice they were here. I was too busy trying to calm the spirit of Marowak. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. 
Follow me to my home. It's the Pokemon house at the foot of this tower. So be. Your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon, it will be hard to complete such a task. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. You got the Pokey Flute from Mr. Fuji. You put the Pokey Flute in your bag. Upon hearing the Pokey Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Try using it if you ever find a sleeping Pokemon. Okay, so now I can wake up Snorlax. And there's also some sort of takeover going on in Saffron City. At Sylphco. Mr. Fuji, has my Pokey Flute helped you? says Mr. Fuji. Mr. Fuji went to try and bring some peace to the ghost of that Marowak. Ah, it's so warm. Pokemon are so cuddly and nice to hug. There are Pokemon magazines on the shelf, and Pokemon notebooks, and Pokemon graphs too. This town is famous for all of the graves made here for Pokemon. They hold memorial services in the Pokemon Tower for Pokemon that have passed away. Okay, I'm going to talk to all the people standing around the city to see if any of them say anything different now I've calmed Marowak's spirit. Don't go disturbing things in the Pokemon Tower. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes. Really? So there are believers. I've changed my mind since the last time I spoke to her. Ah, the smell of incense is so refreshing. This dude already gave me stuff, but I might as well see if he... I bet someone brave like you could go up the Pokemon Tower, no problem. I already did. Okay, so I think I'm going to go back to Saffron City first because Sylph Co needs saving from Team Rocket, but... I'm going to buy more Poke uh, Ultra Balls first. Because I'm going to need them to catch Snorlax, I think. And I heard a rumour about a second Snorlax west of, um, Celadon City. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds then. Okay, so that was um, coming back to the Pokemon Tower to um, calm Marowak's spirit now that I have the Sylph Scope. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, subscribe um, if you haven't already. Um, feel free to comment or share on social media and um, I'll see you in the next video.